No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, it's Andy with No Film School. I'm here with Daryl, who's the product manager for ICANN's monitor department. Now, we see a lot of new monitors here, Daryl. Tell us about them. Yes, um, actually, uh, we've introduced a lot of new monitors this year. Uh, a lot of 4K monitor support also included in these monitors. Um, I can start off with uh, a prototype we released, uh, received just last week, the DH5E. Um, it's sort of uh, the update to our very popular DH5 monitor. Uh, Right now it's encased in um, a monitor cage. That's going to be an accessory. The monitor itself it looks a lot like the original one here. We've just included some extra uh, feature buttons. But the main difference between this one and the original one is that the new DH5E supports 4K and it also has a touchscreen. Okay. Uh, it supports 4K input, but it is a 1080, mon it's a, 1080 it's a, screen. It's a 1080 panel, but it supports 4K input, so it scales down the 4K to 1080, but you also have the ability to go into pixel-to-pixel -pixel mode, so it'll still show you a one-to-one -one representation of that 4K image. And what monitoring tools do you guys have available on the DH5? On this one, we have the standard false color, peaking, clip guides, pixel-to-pixel, uh, -pixel, zooming, um, and histogram. Do you have waveforms? Uh, not on this one, no. Uh, this one is going to probably go for sale around the same price as the original one, which is 350 In addition to all this, I haven't mentioned yet, I forgot, uh, it's also going to have a touch screen. All right? So whereas the original one, you only had two function buttons that were physical. This one, when you touch it, you get your menu up and you can go in and select and turn on and off features. Okay? In addition to that, you can also go in and uh, start uh, pinching and zooming so you can get in closer to the image. The next new monitor we have at the show is our VXF7. That one was also a last minute prototype that arrived for the show. It's a continuation of our VX7 series. Uh, we've had the VX7 for many years now and it always gets updated with new features. So this one actually has a full HD panel instead of a 720p like the older one. Um, it also supports 4K. Uh, it has 3G SDI, HDMI in and out, component and composite as well. Um, the 4K support works the same as the DH5, where you know it scales it down to 1920 by 1200, and then you can go into pixel-to-pixel -pixel mode and, and, and see everything very clearly. The tentative price for this one, we're trying to be more aggressive with it. Uh, the original VX7s cost around 999. Uh, this one, we're trying to try to push it down to like six or seven hundred dollars, or in between the two. That's great. You're, you'll, you'll make a killing off that. We're, yeah, we're trying to be aggressive. We're, we're, no, we're no, there's a lot of competitors in this space right now, and I yes. think those are the most aggressive prices I've seen. Right next to it, we have our VL35 which is a three and a half inch monitor also supports 4k wow okay a lot of people say why do i need 4k on a three and a half inch monitor we thought the same thing uh so it also features the pixel to pixel mode right uh -huh. so it scales it down to 10 uh, 800 by 480 because that's the native resolution of the panel but it will go into pixel to pixel mode and you'll see a little tiny window of your 4k image to make sure that you are uh, in uh, sharp focus well yeah for someone who just wants to have a monitoring solution yeah, that could actually work. How much like is that? This one we're thinking probably around $200. This is our, uh, our high-end one. Uh, it has waveform, vector scope, RGB parade, uh, audio meters as you can see there, as well as um, having uh, 1700 nit brightness. 1700 nits. 1700 nits. Whereas most monitors are around 400, mm -hmm. 450, sometimes even 300. Mm -hmm. This one's 1700. Mm -hmm. It also supports 3D LUTs. Okay. So you can load up your 3D LUTs in there. How do you load them in? There's a USB uh, port in the back. Mm -hmm. So you can use that or actually in the bottom there's one here. Um, if you look at the back, 100% aluminum. Right now it's uh, mounted with a pro battery plate. It's got the whole patterns for it back there so you can swap out the, the pro battery plates. Uh, tally as well as a 4-pin XLR power uh, connector there. Four input buttons, I mean uh, function buttons, and then uh, your buttons there on the top. I uh, see so you guys have some director's monitors here. We actually have a new 20-inch monitor we received also as well last week. The big thing about this one is that it supports uh, self-calibration. So you can get an x right uh, probe, and uh, you plug it into USB 2, and it goes uh, into um, auto calibration mode. Oh, that's great. So then it calibrates itself. And this supports all the features that some of these other smaller monitors uh, have? Absolutely. It has a waveform vector scope and RGB parade as well. You can see it there. As well as the CIE scope that you see there. Oh, nice. It shows wherever your, uh, your, your color space is landing. 
Um, it supports uh, 3D LUTs as well. You can slow those up via the USB as well. You can get uh, split uh, picture uh, side by side to see with LUT, without the LUT. We're expecting it to be hopefully under 2000 Under 2000 Yeah. All right. Cool. That's a, those are a lot of new monitors there. It is, actually. All yes. right. And uh, this was the ICANN Monitor booth at NAB 2016.